continuing. This is still uh, regarding this massacre, this movie massacre, this Batman massacre, Dark Knight Rises, Lucifer Rising. You know, you could put that all as, as tags and everything to this. And this is a Rastafari commentary on these um, recent events. But it's very important that we just don't even say, okay, that's just white people. You understand? It's not just white people. This, this infection... You understand, this, this disease, this virus is Satan. It's, it is evil. You understand? It just so happens that white supremacy in this dispensation be is a crushing and an awful responsibility for it. You understand? But they don't want to look, you understand, at themselves. You understand? When the mirror was polished and clean, you know, during the 60s, and we can see Christ in his kingly character, they said what? He said, let's remove the Bible out the classroom. Let's not talk about God. You understand? And they even had on one of the, um, I think it was what, Newsweek or, or one of the other publications where they said that basically that, that God is dead or is God dead? They asked that question. That's very interesting that it happened around the same time as the creeping coup. Remember the creeping coup against Haile Selassie, you understand, of Ethiopia, the king of kings of Ethiopia, where we now find that the whole connection with the Garden of Eden. So what crept in the garden? It was Satan, it was Diablos, it was the evildoers. Now, in spirit and truth, we were first, speaking about black people, infected by this virus. Now this, of course, a lot of, a lot of our black supremacists or, or, or cometic um, Egyptologists, Afrocentric scholars, they don't agree with that. You understand? Because they only know half the story. They don't know the other half of the story. They have not gone to the root, to the Ethiopic root of this tree, this tree of life. You understand? So they don't understand the days of our lives, like what's happening in these last days of this system. You see, this, this system, this globalistic system, is coming to a an end. You understand? This is this is what a lot of folks. The, 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 all the signs are there. They're saying, "Well, this has happened before," because you know a lot of folks who are invested in this just don't want to don't want to accept that it's all over. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of folks who are newly rich and everything. You know, they got money. They're just getting down. You understand with the uh, with the uh, you know the system of things. And, 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 and they don't want to let go, you know what I mean? I mean, you, you could kind of understand that on a certain level, but there's a reality that trumps that. And this is what we want to discuss right here. So what we had left off in, in the last part was to um, feature this book right here. Remember this book right here? Mm -hmm. The Ibogaine Story, where it says, has the cure for addiction been suppressed? Right? Has it, has it been suppressed uh, since the 60s? Has it been suppressed since the 60s? Yes, it has. Because this cure actually has come out of Africa, a, a wood root, a bark. They've done all the scientific studies on it. It's amazing. This bark actually, um, it cures all types of addiction. In other words, addiction to even t cigarettes. You understand? To even um, cocaine and these kind of... Um, psychedelic kind of opiates, you know, the only thing it does not affect, notice this, the only thing it does not affect is, is marijuana. Why? Because marijuana is not a drug. I mean,